So uh, I'm Connor from BHS, and I'm going to show you some of the settings you can do for photo on a drone. So you, what you want to do is go to this little three sliders icon and uh, press it to open it. And when you change this from auto to manual, the top button, you can change the shutter speed. And uh, Rashab is going to tell you all about the shutter speed. Yeah, so the shutter speed, the main function of it is to control the sensor's exposure time. So as you can see here in the little shutter slider, there are multiple different fractions that can control the shutter speed. So a higher shutter speed setting, such as uh, like a one quarter or a 160, which is way over here, uh, has a shorter time for light to shine on the sensor. And this creates a darker image and a sharper captured object. Now, a lower shutter setting speed, as you can see here, has a longer time for light to shine on the sensor, which creates a brighter image, as you can see. If we crank the shutter setting up to something really high, like 164,000, uh, this has a longer time for light to shine on the sensor, which creates a brighter image, as you can see, and a blurrier captured object. Um, here you can adjust the photo settings, so right now we're on single shot, but you can do multiple settings such as a panoramic image shot, um, you can get multiple images, HDR, which just adjusts the resolution of the photo. You can also adjust the aspect ratio of the image, the default is 16 by 9, but you can also adjust it to a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. The image format right now is a JPEG file, but depending on what you want your image to be compatible with, you can change it to a RAW file or a JPEG plus RAW, but I would recommend just leaving it to JPEG since that's a standard image format. Um, back to it. Yeah. I'm just going to change back one of these settings that we changed to Let's go single back shot to single again. Shot. Yep. And then with white balance, you can change it for what kind of weather it is, and clearly you can see it's very cloudy out, so we can go to the cloudy setting and it'll show a better picture for the conditions you can like move around or if depending on the day you can also go to a custom setting and adjust this slider and if you're in a very weird setting you can just adjust that slider until you get it your desired image quality yeah. but right now we're going to keep it on cloudy some of the other settings over here uh, you can make it sunny and descendant and fluorescent those are kind of some of the other settings but today it's cloudy so we're going to leave it there uh, style, you can change it to the different styles of pictures you want. You go to landscape, you go to soft, and then there's custom ones where you can change the EV on each section to what you desire it to be. And like that, like this, and then you get a different type of picture that you want, you can edit it to whatever way you want. But for now, we're just going to leave on standard. And then color, you can change what color the lens is, so like you can change it to be like black and white or twilight or something like they're pale you can change it to be whatever color you want if you guys really. use instagram or photo editing apps these are essentially your filters so yeah if you want to shoot like for example a nice uh a film with like an old time setting black and white would be a good feature for that film also looks kind of black and white but um if you really want the colors of your photo shoot to pop um you can use true color but right now we're just going to leave it on normal yep. and then Go slide it over one more time to the other settings and there's some of these other stuff that you can do like overexposure is all these different modes you can use to help you like show your image the way one you want it to. One thing that helps for videography is if you go to grid and turn grid on. Um, if you know the rule of thirds, which is something that's pretty prominent in filming, you get a uh, three by three grid here and so your main um, this really just helps you center out your shot and focus on the thing that you're filming.